everyone, it's Jamie Scrap and Stampers, and this is another episode of What's in Kaylee's Closet. So I'm going to be playing with this stamp set today from Some Odd Girl, and she is called Kaylee's Closet. She's like a paper doll. She um, comes with all these outfits, and you can dress her up in different outfits. So it's a really fun set, and that set is available in my shop. That's not too shabby shop on Zibbit. And um, she also comes with other outfits as well. Um, so there's this one, and this one is called, um, I don't have the name right now, but it's a, a witch a witch outfit. And that's also available in my shop, and I'm going to be playing with this stamp set. So I already have her um, colored up and cut out. And there's Kaylee. So what I'm going to do is um, paper piece her witch outfit. So I'm trying to figure out what paper I want to use for her dress. So I'm going to stamp it on two different kinds of papers and see which one I prefer. So I'm going to use Memento ink to ink up the stamp. So I'm going to try it on this piece of paper here, and this is a Martha Stewart Halloween pad. So let's see how this looks. That looks pretty cool. I want to try it on this striped piece of paper too, just to see which one I prefer. I like the green one better. Okay, so we're gonna use this one here. I'm gonna cut that out and I'll be right back. So I'm gonna stamp out um, the little broom because it comes with a broom onto just regular uh, white paper so I could color it in. So I will um, color that in and then um, cut that out. So I'm just going to use like a brown color um, for the handle. So I'm just going to use my Cocoa Brown Copic marker and just color that in. And then I'm going to um, cut that out. Color this in roughly. I'm not going to spend too much time shading this. And then go in with a lighter color at the bottom. hard to color with the sun. Okay, there we go. So I'll cut that out and I'll be right back. Okay, so I got all her little pieces cut out and um, for this I want to add some black to um, the little collar, this little apron, and and this um, little piece on the hat. I'm going to be using my um, Copic glitter pen. So I'm just going to go and color that in. Okay, I added some little stripes to her um, outfit. I used some green and some black. So I'm um, just going to add some glue to the back 
and then glue her little dress on so it's gonna look like that and then she's got the hat so I am going to glue that onto her and I will be back and here's her little broom and then we're gonna make a card so stay tuned so here is Kaylee all dressed up in her witch outfit I think I want to add some glitter to her outfit um, so I'm gonna use my little quickie glue pen I love using this pen because it it writes just like a pen and um, you can get glitter in fine little crevices so um, I'm gonna put some glitter on here let's get this going so I'm just gonna do some little random dots on her hat and on her collar and on these stripes on her dress And I want her shoes to be glittery. So I'm gonna do paint her shoes in with this glue. So I'm gonna use Dazzling Diamonds from Stampin' Up. This is like my favorite go-to glitter. I love it. So I'm just going to pour the glitter back into my container. Okay, so now she's got a little bit of glitter on her. I wanted her to sparkle a little bit. So I'm going to make a, a bag card out of this. So I have these bags. And I'm just gonna fold it in half and decorate the, the front and the inside. And I think I'm going to leave the back plain because I want to see some of that paper. So I will be back um, with my cut papers. So I'm going to cut my um, designer paper um, a quarter inch shorter than this panel here because I want some of that um, paper bag to show. So um, I will be right back. Okay, I have all my papers cut. Um, and I'm going to start adhering them down. So they're all going to measure the same. So once you have the first one um, figured out, um, it'll be easy to um, create the other two panels. So I'm just going to use my ATG gun. And then for this one, I um, just measured the same size, but then I tore it, and then I inked it with um, some Distress Ink Walnut Stain by Tim Holtz. I'm just going to add some glue to that. And then I cut a circle out of the glitter paper that was in that Martha Stewart pack um, with my Spellbinders die, and I'm just going to put that in the center. I think I want to put um, dimensionals on this so it gives it a little bit of a lift. So I will be back, and that will be down, and then my little um, Kaylee will be here too. So I will be right back, guys. Okay, so this is what it looks like so far. I have the front cover, and then I adhered these two panels to the inside. I'm going to leave this 
like that so that when I close my card it's gonna be um like this and then you open it and then you can put something inside here if you want and then I'm gonna have the back plain I'm gonna do a little bit more embellishing on the inside um, add this um, a little mat to write sentiments okay guys I'm back with my finished card I added all my embellishments so this is how it turned out um, I have my um, oval here popped up on some dimensionals. I um, glued her directly to the oval. I didn't pop her up. Um, she looks super cute. And um, I put a little bit of glitter on her broom too. These are die cuts and this is a sticker. And I added a little spider. And then this is the white gardenias that are in my shop. And what I did was I um, rubbed some black ink on it and then sprayed it with some gold Lindy Stamp Gang. So to give it a spooky color. And then these are the leaves that are in my shop as well. And I just went over those with some Distress Ink. And then this comes with the um, Little Witch set. It's, called, it's a sentiment that says Totally Bewitching. Super cute. And I just um, cut it out um, freehand with scissors. And then on the inside, I have um, a spider, and it's got a little like felt on it. And um, I have an oval here, so I could write a message on this side, as well as this side. And then some more of the paper, and then some lace, and a little sticker down here. So it was super fun to make, and um, I left the back blank. And um, so you can put a little goodie in here. And then I left this flap like this so the goodie doesn't fall out. And then it's just going to shut like that. So I hope you guys like the card. And um, thanks everyone for stopping by. And I will talk to you guys later.